Mercury is going retrograde in March 22nd. In fact, Mercury goes retrograde quite a number of times during the year. Now, basically, when Mercury is going backwards, you would feel very restless in your mind and you would also start feeling as if your words are just tumbling out. And that is the time if you make it a habit to be calm and to be probably a little introspective and probably even when you are angry and you're wanting to say something, Trust me, when we say things in a very calm and in a very um, uh, firm manner, the impact is much more stronger than when we speak words when we are angry. That doesn't have that kind of an impact. In fact, we can only invite negative energies. So when a Mercury is going retrograde and in fact it starts moving backward, it causes more confusions, delays and frustrations in mind. So if you're going on a road, for example, and you feel that you've met with a lot of traffic, your mind might get frustrated. Instead, take it as a part of life. Take it as, okay, fine, this is life, the traffic is more. And probably, uh, start. Uh, if you had started home earlier, you will reach at your destination in time because you've catered for that delay. So now that's a habit if you see. Whenever I have to go somewhere, I would rather go 5-10 minutes earlier to the venue so, and wait in my car for that correct moment to alight and be on time rather than just take that time without visualizing that I can be stuck in traffic, I can have a tire puncture, I can have something that delays me. So if I haven't catered for it and I have just gone from time to time back to back, Trust me, my frustration will be done. And if you actually see when the mercury goes retrograde, involuntarily your phone will break down or the electricity will go off or you, I mean for no rhyme or reason the car may not start and whereas uh, the previous day the car when you had parked it was perfectly alright. So these glitches happen. There are delays, there are confusions and there is a frustration and all this leads to the use of your vocabulary when you are relating an incident and it makes you angry so the words tumbled out and for no rhyme or reason you may be very restless in your mind and when somebody comes forward you may just gush out your venom or you may just uh, probably say something which you don't want, don't mean to say it but you've said it. Now how do I improve on, on this? Being aware that Mercury is going retrograde it is important for you to maintain a diary and for your so that to make it life more easier for you well mercury is going retrograde on these dates in 2018 make a note of it on your diary in fact you don't have to carry that diary you could probably uh, put it as a reminder for yourself in your uh, calendars of your uh, mobiles that March 23rd to April 5th Mercury is going retrograde so you need to keep uh, be aware of this that delays can happen confusions can happen frustrations can happen so if I have to go somewhere for an appointment or meet a deadline or talk to people I should give it that leverage I should give a buffer time I should actually think before I speak that's it then from July 26th to August 9th so please block these dates of yours and November 17th to December 6th of 2018 should be blocked. So when the planetary which rules the communication, travel, contracts, automobiles and such technical things, when Mercury is going retrograde, be prepared for a breakdown, be prepared for all these scenarios. In fact, in a short time, um, uh, words, I would say be flexible, be adaptable and, and uh, just take it uh, for granted that these things may happen. They may not happen. See, uh, at times what happens is when we are prepared, when we are forewarned and we are forewarned, things don't happen. Like I take backups of my laptops because I visualize that they can break down. And more often than not, from the last couple of years I have seen that nothing breaks down. But if I haven't done that, you will see those things will happen. So it's important for you to take up your backup plans, be prepared that delays can happen and also make it a habit 
to be consistent to whatever you are doing so that the inconsistency doesn't come and you don't get frustrated and when you are mentally prepared that you are frustrated and you can get angry so you remind yourself not to get angry even the worst situation can look very funny because after all life is a comedy of errors so take a moment reflect on yourself see which zodiac sign you belong see what are the positive and negatives or what are the energies related to that particular sign now again to make it easier for you or uh, uh, you don't have to think that okay what am i supposed to do i am a capricorn just segregate yourself are you a fire sign are you a earth sign are you an air sign or are you a water sign so the fire sign person will get very angry everything will be done impulsively curb yourself in that you are an earth sign so probably you are saying yes and taking on too many responsibilities and then getting frustrated take a caution on that if you are a water sign again you probably are adapting too much or remain very very aloof you are being extra cautious so learn to go with the flow that is what you need now uh, remains the air sign you become restless you are confused you really don't know what to do so just keeping a buffer for yourself that this is my weakness i need to uh, reach a particular point let me um, uh, you know keep some time you may might as well take a novel and even reach the places where you are supposed to reach half an hour to one hour earlier it will give you mental peace then prepare yourself that okay fine th these things can happen these things can you know cater for contingencies that is for the air sign so know your sign know which energy you belong to and try to be forearmed in that it will help you get over the mercury retrogrades in fact you will be having the last laugh